for joining us today. We're going to talk about legumes, and the legume family is made up of several uh, different kinds of seeds that grow in pods. And this includes anything like beans, uh, green peas, lentils, soybeans, um, and even chickpeas, which are also called garbanzo beans. And they're packed with protein and fiber, which is very nutritious. They are very nutritious, and they're low in fat. They have no cholesterol. They are very low in sodium, depending on how you prepare them. And we'll be showing you a sodium comparison here just a little bit later. They're very good sources of folate, potassium, iron, uh, magnesium. Mm -hmm. They're also a good source of complex carbohydrates. So if you're watching your blood sugar levels, uh, beans are a, a good food to include in your diet. They're a very, as we said, very high in protein, so they're a good substitute for other types of protein or, or a way to extend meat in your meals. So we'll be giving you some good ideas today. So they're very diabetic friendly then. Very much so. Yes. All right, first thing we want to do is show you some different kinds of beans that we have here today. And these are just some examples. Um, first over here, we have some small black beans and they're all black with just a little white dot on them. Here in the middle, we have some red beans um, and they're small also. And remember when we cook these, and we'll, we'll talk about cooking here in a minute, these will expand in size. Up here we have some red kidney beans. These are used a lot in salads or in soups. Garbanzo beans, or what, also what's known as chickpeas. These are great in salads, and then of course you can mash them up and use them in hummus, which is a great dip to use with a flatbread. And then down here we have some pinto beans, and these are popular in soups, stews, and also in salads. Um, you can also mash them up and use them as uh, like refried beans um, for tacos or anything like that. Over here we have some examples of lentils and some green peas. Down here we have red lentils. These here are uh, split green peas, and then these are green um, they look kind of dark, but they're actually called uh, green lentils. And these are really great to use in soups, um, or you can add them into casseroles to extend the meat. And um, so you can use less meat and more beans. Some good colors there too. I love the, mm -hmm. the colors represented. We're gonna talk about how beans and legumes compare to meat servings for just a moment. And a half cup of, of beans also counts as a vegetable serving. So they're a good source of protein. They can count toward your, your protein needs for the day. They're also, they can also count as a vegetable. A half a cup of cooked beans is equivalent to two ounces of meat. So this is a three ounce chicken breast right here. This wouldn't be quite the exact comparison, but it's, it's fairly close. This cup of beans is about the equivalent in protein to this four ounce hamburger patty that we have right here. And so that gives you an idea of how the protein comparisons are. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans actually recommends that you eat three cups of cooked beans or legumes throughout the week uh, to have a, a healthy diet. 